I believe that Kay is the most significant elected public official as far as higher education is concerned in the state of Texas ever. Kay has been devoted to the University of Texas. She's devoted to the University of Texas Law School, but she's really devoted to education. You know, the senator understands the important role higher education plays in the nation, um, and especially representing Texas, uh, which when she began in the Senate was, was rather underserved in higher education. In every case where the interest of the people of Texas was to be served, Kay was willing to take that fight to Congress. And because of her tenacity, but also her civility, her willingness to work with other people, more often than not, she was able to deliver. I saw her leadership uh, very, very early on through Tamas. One of her great accomplishments is she was the driving force behind Tamas. It is the go-to place uh, for rewarding research in higher education. I think it has succeeded far beyond anybody's wildest dreams, and that's due to Kay's uh, dreaming about it and then dedication in making it happen. There's no other state uh, that has an academy uh, of, of this type, and it's been uh, one of the reasons Texas universities have been able to recruit some of the best faculty around the world. Kay Bailey Hutchinson was the first woman on the Law School Foundation uh, and has served wonderfully on the foundation for uh, many, many, many years. She's unique. She's big picture focused. And her political instincts are always good. I think one of the remarkable uh, aspects of Kay's uh, devotion to the law school and devotion to the law school foundation, it would have been very easy for her to say, well, I'm a senator. I'm in Washington. I have a very important job to do. I like being on the foundation in name. I'll try to come to a few things, but to not be very active. And it was just the opposite. So the KBH Center for Energy Law and Business, um, we started in 2014. It's an interdisciplinary endeavor that involves the Macomb School of Business as well as the School of Law. And we also have involvement from the Jackson School of Geosciences and the Engineering Department, Cochrane School of Engineering. And it's been just a huge success so far. What the KBH Center represents is she understands there, uh, when you're, you're talking about uh, energy, uh, you're talking about geopolitics, uh, such as in uh, Latin America, there's no one single perspective. And it is a fabulous resource for the University of Texas. And it was basically Kay's impetus and idea that we established this center. And it's rightfully named in her honor. She, she truly loves the state of Texas, uh, has lived her, her whole life, has served the state in, in many capacities, including her, her uh, distinguished service in the U.S. Senate. And uh, that permeates, um, I believe, her life. It certainly permeates her uh, professional activities. Uh, it permeates her friendships. And I feel that when I'm talking with her and I'm seeking her advice about the University of Texas. The law school empowered us to be agents of change. And I see Senator Hutchison, I see Kay, as much uh, as one of those, as I like to call them, tr freedoms trustees. And the University of Texas, like so many of us, it transformed her life. And the law school really transformed her life. And it opened up opportunities for her that she would have never had. And I think that is what sparked her, motivated her to do what she was able to do in support of higher education in Texas and as far as we're concerned, specifically for our great alma mater here. I am proud uh, to be her friend uh, and so proud to be a part of this evening honoring her with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Laura and I join you all in honoring our dear friend, Kay Bailey Hutchison. Kay, we thank you for your lifetime of contributions to our community, our state, and our country. You are a fine United States Senator who made the Lone Star State proud. Laura and I congratulate you as you are recognized with this important award, and we send our very best wishes.